Good morning class. Today I'm going to go through the process of how to organize your writing, how to communicate in writing. Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to look at the question or sometimes it's called the prompt. The prompt simply asks you to explain something. Okay, so let's look at the question or the prompt today is can you explain the data collected about ESL students goals okay that is the question that you're going to answer okay so you've seen me draw a hook so what exactly is the hook the hook is an attention getter it can be a question it can be a quick fact something to get the reader or the readers or the listeners attention for example, um, after looking at my goals, a surprising fact is that most students chose a writing goal instead of a speaking goal. So that can be a hook. So I can say, I was very surprise that most students chose a writing goal rather than a speaking goal. Okay, that's my fact. That's my attention getter. That's my hook. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is have a topic sentence. Remember, the topic sentence tells your listener or your reader what you are going to do. It answers the question. So now I'm going to begin with the topic sentence. I am going to explain the data collected about the ESL students' goals. Okay? Now, remember, the topic sentence has to be supported with details. Four details will give your sentence strong support. Now, we want to have smooth transitions. And we're not gonna use and, we're gonna use those other transition words that we've worked on, such as first, also, next, furthermore. Okay, so let's look at our data and get details. Okay, so one detail I noticed is that the number of reading goals is greater than the number of listening goals. So I can say first of all, The number of reading goals is greater than the number of did I say listening goals? Listening goals. Okay, I look at more data and I see that 
the number of speaking goals is is less than the number of reading goals. Also, there's my transition words. The number of speaking goals is less than the number of writing goals. So that's two details. In addition, it's a good transition word, the number of listening goals is equal to the number of speaking goals. Furthermore, the number of reading goals is greater than the number of writing and speaking goals. Okay, so there are two more details. So there are my four details that I got from my data. Looking back at my data, this is where I got my details. Okay, now the last thing you want to do is a closing sentence. So I'm going to have a transition word and I'm going to restate my topic sentence or make sure that I tell the listener or the reader my answer to the question again. So a good transition word will be finally That is my explanation of the data collected about the ESL student goals. Okay. And the last thing I want to do is to read it just to make sure that it's well organized. Okay. I was very surprised that most students chose a writing goal rather than a speaking goal. I'm going to explain the data collected about the ESL students goals. First of all, the number of reading goals is greater than the number of listening goals. Also, the number of speaking goals is less than the number of writing goals. In addition, the number of listening goals is equal to the number of speaking goals. Furthermore, the number of reading goals is greater than the number of writing and speaking goals. Finally, that is my explanation of the data collected about the ESL student's goals. Another reason to read your writing is to make sure that it sounds good and also it's a great way to check for errors. All right.